I want to apologize for there not being a 313 episode this week. My work responsibilities and my job as producer and editor of the show came into conflict. And hopefully this will be a one-time occurrence, but let me apologize in advance in case it happens again in the future. That said, I want to dive straight into the topic of the day, uh, which is really a question to you. And this question is motivated by the recent prophecies and uh, election of the new pope, but I'm really not going to talk about that specifically. So here's the question. Do you look forward to the end times? Welcome to the vlog. For me, that's a loaded question because there's not a simple answer. If you say yes, you are more than likely focusing on what I'm focusing on, which is the return of my Lord and Savior, and there can be no better news than that. That is just, that's going to be a glorious, wonderful occurrence. Every tear will be wiped away. All things will be restored. And, and you know, that is something that any Christian that has even the smallest, tiniest relationship with Jesus Christ is just elated about. If you say no, more than likely it's because you realize the word tribulation is not synonymous with picnic. Even if suffering and tragedy and disaster and hunger and pestilence and punishment from those that seek to destroy God's people and martyrdom and things like that don't come to your door. You know that suffering is going to occur for the Christian and non-Christian alike, regardless of when the rapture happens or doesn't happen. Revelation tells you that, you know, that we're going to suffer when we don't take the mark. We won't be able to buy or sell. We're going to suffer and be martyred, some of us. So to look forward to the end times is to look forward to suffering, either your own suffering or your own suffering and others suffering or just others suffering. So there's the rub. Do you look forward to the end times? And, and don't avoid the question by saying, well, we're already in them. There's nothing I can do about it. Because even though I would, for the most part, agree with you, I wonder if you have the same kind of mixed feelings I do. I, I can definitely see both a yes answer and a no answer. The vlog is now over. You may go away.